I woke up this morning and saw this video. I just immediately became frustrated. As a fellow data analyst who puts content out on YouTube, I feel like the bare minimum that I should do is really good research to give you guys good content before I put it out. And so when I saw this video and she's telling people the average salaries that people should expect, I could not believe what I was hearing because the numbers are so off that they can't be true. And so I felt the need to make a video, show it to you guys, see what you guys think, and just let me know if I'm the one who's wrong. Because everything that I was researching was very different than what she is saying. So let's listen really quick to what she has to say, and then I'll kind of give you some of my thoughts on it. Entry-level data analyst roles for 2020 have a median pay of $84,000. This is slightly up from the 2019 rate of 82,000. Who is getting paid $84,000 as an entry level job? I know that I was making literally about half that. And I have not met anybody who has gotten an entry level job at $84,000. The issue that I'm having with this is that she is out here telling people that that's the average. That's what you should expect. That's the normal. And so as a person who is just starting out in the field, if I saw that, I would be extremely discouraged because I am out there applying for jobs that's making 40,000, 50,000, that's pretty normal. And she's telling me that the average is actually almost $85,000. And so that frustrates me because as a person who was just an entry level data analyst three or four years ago, if I had watched this video, I would be very, very frustrated with my job search and felt like I was not doing as well as I should have been. When in fact, I was doing really well. I was making $47,000 at an entry level job and then I worked my way up. But she is saying that you should be starting out at 85,000. I mean, I just, it blows my mind that that could be accurate. And so she actually goes on to say more. So let's watch a little bit more. Mid-level analysts in 2020 are making around $100,000 as the median pay. Okay, now that is my salary. So I completely understand that it is possible to make that much money, but I have to admit that I got extremely lucky and this is absolutely not the normal in the industry today. If you are out there with three or four years experience making $100,000, you are among the top 5%. If that is the average, we're talking New York City or Silicon Valley type salaries. This is not the average across America. This is like the top tier of the top tech companies. This is absolutely not what somebody should expect three or four years in. The average salary probably around this time is around 70 to $80,000. So I say, what sources are you referencing for these salaries? I wanna know where she got her information. I said, I have never seen an entry level data analyst position for $84,000, not even at IBM or Facebook, unless they're in Silicon Valley or New York City. That is true. That is, I've never seen that. And so I was curious. So she says, that there are multiple sources that support uh, this, including Robert Half. I never heard of Robert Half. So I looked it up and I actually found a 2019 uh, Robert Half salary guide. And so when I found this, I said, okay, you know what? Let me look up the information that she has. Let me see if that's accurate. So uh, in this PDF, they have these percentiles for all these jobs and uh, I start looking through here and I'm like, all right, cool. This is, this is interesting. They have lots of different jobs, different salaries. Let me go look, find the data analyst. So I go down here and I find the data analyst. And for an entry level job at an entry level position, the average is right here. So it's not 84,000. That is the 95th percentile for up to one year. As someone who's just getting into the career is $83,000. She said the average for an entry level position is 84,000. So the 50th percentile would most likely be considered the average and that's $57,000. That is not anywhere close to what she said. And so if we go up, we can see that for one to three years, which is what someone consider mid-year or mid-level, the average is around 74,000. And then based on these numbers that she is quoting, a senior level is 78 to 94,000. 
for the 25th to 50 percentile. That is what she is quoting. And so she is saying that people should be expecting $84,000 right off the bat as an entry level job. And that just, that makes me upset because I'm literally looking at the numbers of what she is quoting and she is quoting them wrong. I think what happened was, is there was this graph up here. All right, I think she was looking at this and she said, oh, financial analyst, the average, 84,000, 100,000, 122,000, because those are the exact numbers that she quoted in her video. So I think she just randomly came down here to a financial analyst who's a manager, took these numbers and said, I'll use these numbers. That frustrates me. As somebody who makes content out there for other data analysts, I feel like I need to do the work. I need to look up my information and give good content, something that's reliable, something that people can trust. And she's out here putting this out here. And so I just get frustrated. I think I've seen enough of this content on YouTube to start a series called, I don't know, Data Analyst Fact Checking. Maybe that's what I'll title this one is data analyst fact check, because this is wrong. This is not accurate. I do not know where she got these numbers from or where she's pulling these numbers from, but she's wrong. And so as a data analyst, I'm not just gonna sit back and let YouTubers deceive other people who are trying to get into this career. I want people to have good information. If you are making $85,000 as an entry level data analyst, you are killing it. You are killing it. That is what most people make near the end of their career. Okay, so hold on to that job. Now, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm the one who's wrong here. Okay, maybe I'm the one whose research is incorrect and she is right. So I'm gonna leave a comment below. If you think that this is unrealistic, I want you to upvote it. And if you think that what she said is realistic, I want you to comment under it and just say, no, these numbers make sense. Actually, I make 90,000 as a starting salary. You know, blow my mind, maybe I'm wrong. Right? Maybe I'm the one, maybe I'm the one who's wrong. It's possible. I don't know. Anyways, sorry for my rant. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. If you like this type of content, be sure to subscribe below. I think this is going to be a new series, uh, Data Analyst Fact Check. I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, but thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day.